A bit of Tommy? Tommy sounded like Tommy Cooper. Cheeky bits. <laughs> so that was uh, a little bit of rendition, a bit of my version of uh, Blue Moon. Never do anything the same. It's John, again. Muslim Music on Music Theory 36. Get your kicks on Music Theory 36. Can you dig it? Okay, listen. I'm going to just consolidate what we've done and show you how to move the major scales around the neck of the guitar okay and so that you can go away and practice these you get all your major scales down you can go into working out modes uh, everything like that I've got a great system or shortcut system to cut down all your theory I know it seems like a lot of theory and a lot of techniques but tell you, I'm telling you now I've distilled an awful lot of stuff down to make, like, make your playing uh, come on in a very short time so within a year you could really be really really good if you follow the course that I've outlined okay some people have said it themselves have learnt more in these lessons with the six months of uh, a course of going to teachers which is which is which I deem a great compliment thank you very much I appreciate the comments so and I'm going to be doing courses in in blues rock uh, jazz and all these things but I want you to be able to get all this stuff down first. If you get all this down, everything else is going to fall into place. This is your toolkit uh, for playing any style of music. So you can improvise, work out songs and all these things. So uh, I'm giving this away gratis for free. And I might do even a PDF on it. Music's been good to me and I want to give a little bit back. Okay? So here we go. Um, and thanks for all your comments as well from all you guys. So here we go. So the three shapes, the A, the C and E, A shape, C shape, E shape, bar chords, enough said, okay? Uh, what we've learnt, I, I did an example key for patterns, you've got an E shape and you've got its non-extended major scale point of view, okay, which becomes movable, okay? You've got the extended out of that, out of the E shape, then you've got the C, D shape. There's the C and the D shape. And you've got this scale that goes out to that. And you've got the A shape. There's the scale. And they're all in the key of G. I did this as an example. So G was here, because we know all the notes, don't we? I hope so. On the sixth string, there's G, and there's the E shape. Uh, we know G and the C, D shape, taking the root from the fourth finger, C, D, E, a sharp G, and we know G from here shares the same root note, the A shape. That's all we need. We're done. Okay, it becomes movable. So, uh, here's a little bit of a gimmick. Got a little gimmick here, just to help you see the block chord, the, the major scale, I just did the non-extended. Okay, the internal arrangement, that pattern, we're going to call it a pattern, is movable. The root, the black dot, is on the third fret, so that's a G. And so if I move that internal structure, say to the fifth, okay, it must remain the same. So that would be for A, or one up from the A on the sixth fret would be A sharp. Okay, so look, let's look at it another way. Let's look here on this. Board. I've got the, fret, the, the guitar neck with all the notes and the frets 
numbers. So that you can see that if it was on G, there we go, G on the third fret, that would be there, that's that pattern. If I move it along, G sharp. Okay, likewise, hang on a minute, don't go away. Likewise, if you do the extended out of the E shape, you associate the shape with the chord with the shape. So, for instance, stay with it. Are you with me? For instance, there is the internal long extended scale in the key of G. There's the root, okay? So, if, and that's on the third fret. So if I move this up one, that will be G sharp, hopefully it's in there, and A, and so forth. Again, let's just see that on the... See this gimmick on here? There's G, the internal structure, there. So there's the root note on the third fret. G is by the side of it, G sharp, A, if I did it for F, okay? If I did it for E, it'd be off the neck of the guitar, it's E be off, but it would be the same structure. Are you with me? I hope so. The next one was the CD shape. G. If I moved up to A, that would be there. Here's my little gimmick. That's the CD shape. It's the CD shape. And backwards. Okay, and again, if I move that for A, the root would be here. So the pattern goes with the, the chord shape. It might seem a little bit tenuous when you did the E shape and the extended, but that's, that's the way it goes. You, you just got to see it for what it is. And likewise, lastly, you have got the A shape. That would be, that pattern would exist here. Start on the tenth fret. Okay. Okay. So if you moved it. So let me just do another scenario. If I wanted to do everything in C, I must know the notes very well on the sixth and fifth string. You should know the notes all more, but the sixth and fifth. So if I find C here on the fifth string, and I know it's an A shape, so it's this pattern that I use. I'll do everything in C. So I use this pattern. So I use this pattern, the root note is the black dot. That's the, the pattern that was here in G, off the, off the A shape, is this. I hope this is making sense. Please pause and rewind if it isn't. So, that's been moved. Okay, and then the next shape that I want, if I find the C here on the 8th fret, what do I use? It's an E shape. So I use a non-extended pattern. Which is, which is that one, the non-extended, okay? Because the root is on the sixth. And now what's the next one after that? It's the extended, because that's what comes next. C here, C here, it's C here in the CD shape. And we know it's C in the, C, in the CD shape. And we know it's that one. If you're on the electric guitar, you go back to the A shape. You've covered the whole neck. The C in the C D shape is the open. Hopefully that's you're getting an idea, it's all movable. The guitar overlaps. It goes round in a, like a conveyor belt system as you go from one key it, uh, and it, it reveals the next key. The C, so C is there, C is here, that would be C, D shape, or the open C form, A shape, and C. Hopefully this is starting to make sense. You'll have to pause and rewind that, but that's, that's the, the premise. If you get those four scales down, shapes, you, in the A system, okay, sing along with what you play. Learn the theory of all done, okay, and summarise, check out all the summaries in a nutshell courses. If you know all that, you're going to get on great. And I've got that at the end. What does that say? You betcha. And he goes... <laughs>